Okay, here we go. Part three, the first castle. You know what? I'm still going to keep going. Uh, I might be splitting at very random parts. I haven't decided that yet. I'll determine that when I review the footage. There might be some editing here and there. I mean, that's the fun of making Let's Play videos, right? <laughs> uh, let's see. I think we do want to go in there. Is there anything over here to the left, though? Uh, if there is, I'm not seeing anything. I feel like there might be a balloon hidden in the water, possibly, or somewhere near it. Let's just splotch everything. Okay. Doesn't look like there's anything here. So let's go ahead and move on through. I always like to double check, because you can never be too careful. I believe there is a balloon either up here or somewhere nearby. Oh, there's steps here. Okay, anything here other than a giant door that I'm just going to sploosh with black ink from top to bottom, except not really. I don't want to do that, actually. Okay, so yeah, let's just go up the steps. I believe there is... yeah, I do see it now. <laughs> if you guys could see it too, it's like right in the crevice. So this is one I think you have to do like an angle shot to reach. Oh man, if that would have done it the first time, that would have been cool. But it didn't. Alas. Maybe I have to aim like really high. Got it. So yeah, that's just one that you have to throw really high up into the air. It's a very well-hidden balloon, too, much like the one behind the water as soon as we stepped out of uh, part two. But uh, we step in here. There's paintings everywhere. Once again, the path behind us shut, so that's kind of like a sign that make sure you get everything the first time you go through. <laughs> so yeah, just kind of admire the paintings in here. I don't think there's a zoom function. Nope. I could just shoot a paintball. Oh, it's not even... Okay. I thought it was just R2 as far as the button you had to push. I just found out you could actually press any of the trigger and bumper buttons. So L1, L2, R1, and R2 all work as far as throwing paintballs. They might have a different purpose later when you buy toys. Because I believe there's like one or two of them that are specifically assigned to one of the buttons. So we can go up here, or we can go up this gold ladder. Let's go up the gold ladder first. Is it just eye candy? Hmm. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, look at this. Okay, look at how this is so peculiar. <laughs> Go ahead and throw a ball. Okay, so we'll just splash. Oh, there we go. Um, <laughs> yeah, that does count as collecting a balloon. It's a very tiny ass one, but hey, it still counts. <laughs> so yeah, let's go ahead and keep on collecting. And I'm going to let you s just take this in for a second. You can already see some stuff to collect. Yeah, this is very breathtaking. And there was the swan. <laughs> In case you didn't notice that. I probably should have paid attention to where it flew off to, but hey. We all know that you can't just catch the swan immediately. But yeah, the first time I ever saw this, this was actually very breathtaking. It's, I mean, just look at that. That is so amazing having this huge labyrinth with the castle out in the distance. I'm going to try to collect everything if I can. Um, let me see. Do I have enough to get the radar? I do want to see if I can buy the radar here. Um, balloon radar. Okay. Unlocked after finishing the game. Oh, it's still locked. I thought you could unlock it a lot sooner. Hmm, interesting. Maybe it's was something they changed in the PS4 version. I'm not sure. Nothing's really well documented in that regards as far as version differences between like PS3, PS4, and PS Vita. 
I mean, that's the three platforms this game's available for, so... In case anyone was wondering, um, this isn't something that's, like, on other platforms. It is, for the time being, unless they make a change to it, it is a Sony-exclusive game. So, if you're solely someone who has just Nintendo or just Microsoft, then you're kind of SL SOL um, with getting this game, then, because it's not available for anything outside of Sony systems. Anyway, we have a crown above the door. So, as far as getting through this, if if you want to just get through it easy, you could just make a black path to kind of splotch which ways you've already went through. Like so. Uh, I am going to try to go through to collect balloons if possible. Again, this may or may not get frustrating for some of you guys. Um, I'm going to try to be careful with this. Especially since I like threw paintballs from up above and kind of haphazardly threw some down this way when I was showing you guys the swan. So yeah, just kind of like splotch it on the ground, that way you know which way you went. That's the best advice I can give for that. I mean, it's kind of like leaving the trail breadcrumbs, really. Once again, the music is just so calming. I feel like it doesn't fit for the labyrinth, though, because you're kind of going through something that's massive and it's like, oh my god, which way do I go? So yeah, we kind of made full circle there, unfortunately. But that's okay. At least I'm showing you the path. We might be taking the long way, but hey, I want to cover everything for this. So, okay, this was a dead end. Oopsie daisy. Oh, there is a paintbrush up there, though. Anything back this way, it's probably a dead end as well. Yeah, it appears to be. Okay, so we'll just go back the way we went. Is there... I don't think there's a run button. No, it doesn't appear to be. And if there is, then I'm just being stupid about it. I don't think there is a way to run, though. It's kind of like Pokemon, where you play like the older generation game, and it's like you miss the running shoes, or even uh, just something similar that lets you run faster, and it's like, oh my god. Going back to an older game, it feels so different. not designed to be practical, and it wasn't. Whole families got lost for weeks at a time, mail took months to arrive, and many worried a labyrinth of this size was bound to attract dragons. Eventually, the complaints grew so loud, even the king couldn't ignore them. Interesting. Okay, so... Oh, it must have, like, bled through the corner. That has a tendency to happen with objects like that. As far as uh, where the ink appears at. Oh, here we have the paintbrush that we saw earlier. We could paint the hand if we want. Uh, I feel like there is a balloon somewhere around here, though. Hopefully I'm not overlooking it. It's kind of hard to tell. Like, I'm seeing gold objects, but I think that's stuff in the distance from other angles. Oh, wait a minute. Look here. See this white silhouette? And yes, just to prove, you do have to actually throw an ink ball at it. That was a balloon <laughs> that I was running into, so we got one. I do know there's like some more around here, though. Um, I would really love to get that radar. Are we sure we can't get it now? Seriously, I really want that radar. I could have swore you didn't have to complete the game to get it, though. I'm gonna be, like, periodically checking that throughout the whole LP. Be like, when am I gonna get that? Oh, that's gonna upset me so much. Okay, so dead end. Yeah, sorry if this is taking a while, guys, but... Again, I would like to just kind of comb everything if I can. I've only played through the game from beginning to end precisely once, so... Give me some credit, I don't remember every single thing about it as far as, well, things like balloon locations and, like, the way through. So, <laughs> uh, well, I generally know how to get from, like, the beginning of the chapter to the end. It's not really a big mystery in that regard. But, uh, 
just other things. Like I said, uh, I know the basics as far as how this game works. Uh, I just, like I said, could have swore you could have got the damn radar a lot sooner than what the game's telling me. I really swore that was not the case as far as uh, having to wait before you could unlock it. And speaking of stuff, uh, I think there's like a balloon that's just randomly at the top of a wall, so that's why I keep looking up a lot. Because without the radar, um, you don't know when you need to look around. Because there could be stuff that's above, below, behind, you know, any direction really. The radar just kind of gives you a good idea as far as uh, when you're in that general vicinity with where you can get the balloon very easily from. It doesn't like show you exactly the location of the balloon. It just kind of alerts you to know when you're like right next to it or getting closer. Kind of like a hot and cold thing where it's like you're getting warmer or you're getting colder if you get too far away. Okay, so we're back out here. Just have to go the way I didn't go, which is this way. So yeah, definitely just kind of combing the whole labyrinth. Okay, so this is the way through, but since we didn't go this other way, I do want to see if I can find any more balloons. Or storybook pages. It's not even just balloons. You can find, like, storybook pages kind of hidden about, too. Generally, you do want to keep collecting balloons, though, so you can unlock all the toys. I mean, you do get additional PSN trophies for 100%ing the game. So just keep that in mind. It is something I will throw out there as far as advice for anyone who's, like, a achievement or trophy junkie. I'm thinking about going for all the trophies for this playthrough. Um, that's going to be like post content to show though. And Wow. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> that is quite a sight. Oh, park bench and a storybook page. The king was so frustrated with the messy demanding people of his kingdom that he decided to start over. One morning he painted a boat and set off to find the perfect spot. He told himself he'd come back someday to finish what he had started, but of course, he never did. I see. So just more and more to learn about this game. Oh, was that the swan I heard? Possibly so. I didn't see where it flew off to though. Oh well. Blink and you miss it. <laughs> oh, and here is a balloon up here. So I'm going to go ahead and get it. Okay. And there was a telescope here. So go ahead and push square to look through it. And you can zoom in and out. Doesn't let you move the telescope though, which is kind of weird. Just lets you zoom. Pretty sure no one's out there. See, I think that purpose of the telescope was to kind of reveal that there was a balloon there but it was one we already got I mean we just came from there and I showed where it was at so with that said we have this hot air balloon that we saw from before we can finally get onto it I don't know if there's anything else over here in the water but we're gonna go ahead and move on jump into the hot air balloon proceed the chapter better when the wind pushed him close enough to reach the swan. He was feeling so good, in fact, that he forgot all about his fear of heights. But when the swan wriggled free and Monroe fell over the side, he remembered almost immediately. That might have been the end of Monroe, if this were a shorter story, but it isn't, which is why Monroe's trouble Shark. was just <laughs> beginning. So we got our first trophy. That was actually the whole entire first chapter of the game. So the statue garden, which as we could see, I mentioned earlier, uh, we did miss some balloons from it, which I figured as much. Uh, the watchtower, we missed only one. So I'll have to replay both of these parts again to see what I missed. And then the first castle, which I actually got all the balloons. Interesting. That was actually the part of the chapter that I thought least likely I would have collected everything. Um, but anyway, The Unfinished Empire is chapter two. I could go ahead and play it 
I'm tempted to do it now, but I think I'm going to end the recording session here. So for chapter one, I may split it into one video or two or three. Not sure yet, but I hope you guys enjoyed the game so far. It's definitely very interesting in my opinion. Uh, once we move on to chapter two, the mechanic's going to change completely. We're actually not going to be throwing paintballs, but rather water balls. So the gameplay actually changes up a bit because of that for this next chapter. So that'll be interesting to see. Uh, till next time, though, this is Toad Wonderland. Hope you guys enjoyed the Unfinished Swan. I will see you back for Chapter 2.